What's up, everybody? I got Sister here who is opening the new Dragon Ball Mythic Booster gift collection. Yay! Hello! <laughs> you bought some of these and you wanted to open it today? Show yes. off what these actually are all about. So you want to talk about what's inside of this thing? So uh, what's inside is actually this is actually a pretty cool case itself. Like it's in a whiteish clear case first off and then it includes four booster packs use my handy dandy scissors instead you don't use the fancy box cutters i will child proof box cutters yeah so then it includes four booster packs one deck case and then it includes sleeves They use a lot of plastic, apparently. The struggle. I'll clean that up later. <laughs> oh, <you better>. <laughs> <laughs> Just heard it plop on my ground. How did you know I was thinking that? Hey, I'm I I, I usually clean up. You're the one who popped it at the bottom. And here is the deck box. And it comes with a Goku divider. Only one though. <laughs> you only need one because that thing's only gonna fit so much in there. Oh yeah. And then Shenron on the back. You got Shenron. Oh look at that. This one Dragon Balls. That's pretty nice. They have a divider in here too. Right. I think this is the cool part. You get four booster packs. And she bought multiples of these, but you could see on the back of this box here, it actually shows you that you get four of the pack arts because people actually do collect pack arts, right? And as you can see, that's not like a joke. They actually meant it because you could see there's actually four different pack arts inside of that box. And then they did an image inside too. I don't know if you can see it. Kind of. Right and uh, it's it's really cool. So, and you got sleeves as well. Yes, my first sleeves. These are my first Dragon Ball sleeves. So why'd you buy these, anyways? I like to open Dragon Ball. <laughs> like, well, I mean that's not bad, right? You like you watched all of Dragon Ball Super? Yeah, I have not watched the new Dragon Ball though, which is I forget what's called. But it's on YouTube. Like uh, I know, not any. I know, like the main streaming services aren't doing the newest Dragon Ball. Why? I didn't know that. I know Dragon Ball Super was on Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll. Yeah, and then it went to the Funimation app, and then. But like the newest one, I forget what it's called. But it went to YouTube. That's what you're saying. Yeah, okay. it went to YouTube, and there's like so many like episodes of it it's kind of like a multiverse so and it involves like time like the time gods and stuff like that okay but yeah let's get on to the opening and these booster packs so what i know there was a special setup inside of the booster packs what are you what do you get inside of a booster pack um, so in the booster packs, you get like you can get the commons, uncommons, rares, super rares, and secret rares. But then you get the second to last card will be a hollow, and then the last one will be a gold stamp foil. Great. So the main thing that you want from this set, the one that is the top card, currently, is, yeah, currently, Salzino, which is a secret rare, followed by a bunch of uh, rares, which would be, you know, gold stamp version or just hollow version. So that's what we're looking for. Since but there, since this is a set, it's a lot of reprints that people yes. actually use to play with. So, so Sensu Bean is a highly used card. Yep. And this is your first hollow coming up. Mm -hmm. And then this is by gold stamp. Oh, dang. Max Saiyan, Brainwash No More, which I think he said, uh, I don't know. 
No, I'm just saying I said, oh, dang, because it actually looks really cool. Yeah, I you love the gold like foils. That. Like, they do a really good job. Bandai does a good job with Dragon Ball and foils. I remember the last set that you got, you opened. I think it was pretty good. Like, when it came to card quality, it wasn't like it was all dinged up or messed up. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like what's nice card, about it. The card quality on the back, you can see it's not messed up. I don't see a ton of whitening or anything like that. It's actually pretty good. Where do you want? I'm just. I'm moving your sleeves. I'm gonna put that there. Okay. Is there any card that you want from uh, this yourself personally that you saw from the list? I haven't seen a lot of the list, but I do like when they do a lot of the girls, because I was just like I. Uh, they're trying to make an effort to improve like. A girl's deck like the heroines, like Bulma, Pan, even Bola is in some cards. Yeah, more girl power. There's nothing wrong with that. They want more representation. They're fun characters. I can't wait for the the newest Dragon Ball movie coming out in twenty twenty two. You're ahead of the, the Dragon Ball. Because I remember watching a lot of Dragon I watched all of Dragon Ball Z. And then GT. And then I stopped there. I well, you watch, watch some super. Like, you watch some of the movies. Yeah, I watched one of the ones that came out after that. But after that, I lost touch with Dragon Ball. But I'm really, really sounds... excited. Because this is the one you see Pan get trained by Piccolo. You know who Pan is, right? Yeah. No, I was thinking about it because they die so many times. I don't know how many times Piccolo died, but I just remember watching Gohan getting trained by Piccolo, and I'm like, man, this dude's old. Well, yeah, and then you do see... <laughs> now he's you, training another one. Yeah, and you do see Gohan, like, in the latest uh, trailer photo, you see him uh, in his gear and stuff, his, like, professor gear, so I'm excited. That means, like, uh, well... The, it's like this. He's like mythic Gohan. Is Master Roshi still alive? Hmm? Master Roshi. Yeah, he's I awesome. I mean, I don't know if he's, it's old. He's, he doesn't have Piccolo blood. He, he's not Namekian. He don't live forever, right? He fought in the Tournament of Power. I don't know. He's even better than Yamcha. Like, they had to pick a team of earth earthlings. To, well, not Earthlings. I, people who lived in uh, the universe. And they picked... Uh, um, that one. They picked him over Yamcha, who was hoping to get picked for the tournament. What's this card called? Unbreakable. It's going to Kamehameha your ass. Look at that thing. It's coming right at your face. Oh, look, that's cool. He's shooting, he's shooting one off at you. Uh, go Ted. Yeah. So those are the four gold foils. No, that's what I mean. Look how cool that is. Uh, and that's that's what I mean. These cards are um, super nice, especially that gold hollow foil. I mean, these these whoa, these foils are really nice. Cause you know I look at a bunch of Y Schwartz cards, but these are really neat. Like with all the foil that they put on it, it's nice and sparkly. That's all we want in our lives, right? Oh yeah, you them. want sparkly cardboard. We want sparkly cardboard. That Pringles if you don't store it correctly. I'm just glad my house, I don't have any humidity issues or anything like that. But you know, Dragon Ball, the, the card game they did back then, I wish I played back then, like, or opened back then. Like the signature ones, they had signature Dragon Ball cards. Oh, they did. Yeah, they're they're going for a lot. Why they stop? Do you know? You uh, don't know. You don't I don't know. know. Yeah. I think it's just that they it's... just did it for the one series, uh, like because right. you know there's only so many like Goku's. Like there's only like uh, the voice actor. I think it's just yeah. You know, it's like Naruto. You have the one person. Like still be nice to have it. If you can get that. Or like a special one. set. Maybe put them in the... Or like a reprint, you mean? <laughs> well, no. You can do it in the anniversaries. Some kind of special set. 
I'm not saying like, you know, your normal booster set that comes out every three months or whatever they do. And that Just, is nice that they put every pack. Because they do have that anniversary set that comes out, you know, put some signatures in there. And then that was the, like the last set though. What? Was the anniversary set. Yeah. Well, that's my point. Like, if you're going to put it in a, a signature card yeah. inside of it, you can do that there. Or, like, everybody else, put a serial number on it. That's true. Shove a serial number on it. Would you be okay with serial number? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. for the anniversary set, they just put another secret rare. Ooh. It's Vegeta. I say it. I'm just, I'm just looking at it, the character. I have no idea what these rarities are. I don't even see, see what the background is. I think he like cut up someone. <laughs> see, like there's like body parts. Broly. Look at that. Broly looks like it's shooting at you. Yeah, I, th I really like it when they have um. For their beams. Yeah. You can see it. It's looks like it's, it's coming at you. And with the foil, it just looks so nice. And I love the androids. I got two of the Vegetas. I didn't even notice that. The androids. What's your favorite good character? Good guy character. I mean, and you could even say the androids because they turned good eventually. Well, I mean, if you watch it, there's different, you know, like, it's like the multiverse of Spider-Man. There's oh, different man. ones. It's too much for me. Well, you know, so, like, you know that. Uh, who do you like? Who do you like of the Earthlings? Earthlings. I'm a Krillin guy myself. Mm. He always gets beat up. Oh, I love when they <laughs> I love when they say his name in Japanese though. Krillin. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because I only watched the English one. You watched both. Ah uh, yeah, I watched both. You're a lifer. You powered through, you watched them both. Oh, oh yeah, look at that one. Trunks. Yeah, look at Trunks. That's what I mean. These these cards look so nice. Again, this is not even like I'm looking at it worth wise. It's more just the coolness it, yeah, of the card. Yeah, I think it's really cool. That's why I said like Dragon Ball cards are like underrated because like I think they they put a lot of effort into them. And well, like if you're a big anime like a Dragon Ball fan, I love it because they're this these are straight out of scenes from the anime. Some people actually hate that. When people think about why Schwartz, they're like, oh, it's just screen captures from the anime. Oh my like, gosh, I love it. It just well, reminds me of, look at that, Captain Kinyu. <laughs> oh, I want to see the pose. Oh. Some poses. When I think about that, it just makes me think of their Ginyu song. But remember, I, I showed it to you before, and you're like, there's no Ginyu song. I think in the American old yeah, the one. English one didn't. The, yeah, the, uh, the original, like, was it 90s? 90s version there was none but then the remake there was one and then the japanese one there's a full song yeah well so that's why I, look at that yeah roshi yeah roiding up those are sensu beans he has taken yeah yeah <laughs> like so you see this in the anime where he just buffs up like uh, and i was just like that is crazy like oh yeah you didn't watch that part but well no i thought you meant like he actually took a pill or something no so like you watch it but the third time that oh no the second time frieza comes and he 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 helps fight him off to fight like the army off and he just uh, all of a sudden and I'm like, i thought you what? meant kill frieza because i thought like frieza died in like three seconds i love that one yeah it looks like jane bond like from back here because him or or, or uh, roshi oh let's no, see so let me take this card back to you like lean back because I'm standing up so like in James Bond right oh uh, you mean the white and black circle yeah yeah. at the beginning you have like the him and then he shoots you with a gun because I'm standing from up here and when I look down at it I see a head and kind of like the yeah just imagine just, all right <laughs> I see James Bond it's just different colors <laughs> and like a big muscular dude Brawly you know Brawly yeah whatever I don't have to say the name. You got it. You're Miss Dragon Ball. I'm not Miss Dragon Ball. I would watch the latest one. I really do want to watch the latest one. You can. I Nothing's stopping that. you. Unless you, you don't want to watch YouTube ads. 
Well, I have to find like the first one. I think I can. I just have to do some digging. Okay. Keep on digging. All right, let's get something good. Do it. Cooler. That's not so. Ah, uh, that one's cool. Wow, After that image one. technique. That I like really... how they try to do that. Yeah. That one's really nice looking. Okay. We'll bring it up. Any other thoughts on this? You like the set, looking over the cards? I do like the set. I think it's really, really cool. And you gotta, right, right now it's on TCG Player for $25, this gift collection. The booster box is 100, again, this is TCG Player, not talking about any other stores or anything like that. It's $100 on TCG Player. These This was supposed to come out at the same time as their booster box, right? Yeah. Yeah, and it got delayed because of the Global shipping delays as everybody is affected by it. So, like, this got delayed a couple times because I think this is supposed to come out the third. Oh, really? Yeah. So, it was coming out on different dates? Well, no, like the the booster, like I just went on earlier and I said, remember I told you, I said the booster is supposed to come out on the third. Yeah, so the rest is supposed to come out yeah. at the same time. It's more just gift collection came first. And yeah, they probably just had this still delayed. available. Yeah. yeah. I've seen other people get it, but. I do not have mine. <laughs> yeah. So for $25-ish, depending on where you buy it, you get a deck box, four booster packs, sleeves, and there is that card divider inside of it. Yeah. Do you think it was worth it? I think so. I think it's I think like, it's cool Like for a collector. And then also it, it's a good introduction one because it's a lot of kind of playable cards. Cards you need. Yeah, it's cards, cards that you need. Cards you can actually need. play with. Yeah. So it's good for like a first time player if you want to, because there's a lot of good cards that you you can use to build a deck, like the Sensu Bean, like I said. Yeah, and the nice part is you do get two shiny cards in there. So each pack has eight cards, six, let's say regular, one hollow, and then a gold stamped one in the back. And overall, the there's, there's some good ones. Saiyan girls here, Saiyan girls. Saiyan. Yeah. Man, she looked pissed. <laughs> you didn't see her when she turns into like no, a uh, Super Saiyan 2 version. She gets buffed up like bigger than Roshi. No way. Look yeah, she does. She... Well, no, I, I'm not saying she doesn't. I didn't watch it, but that tiny body can't just. Look I, like I really don't like when she buffs up, though. It's kind of disgusting. Uh, <laughs> you don't like the muscular, gigantic woman? No, it like it, it she looks really, feminine really yeah, it looks it. really bad. Like it looks like she took a bunch of steroids. <laughs> Does her chest get bigger? Yeah, well not in a weird way. Yeah, I'm just, but like because I'm, I'm she, trying to imagine like, how proportional she gets. No, like she's not really in proportion. She's just all straight up muscle on muscle on muscle. It it's I think it was I don't think they should have did that. Cause right there she looks cool i mean she looks crazy looking she looks strong i mean i wouldn't fight her oh yeah because this is just i think just super saiyan one and then when she goes into the bigger ones that's when they you know they build up like all that muscle and she becomes kind of like a monster like it she she can't even control her saiyan well, powers yeah, I mean, look too. At her. she got like lightning coming off of her and then you have zarbon the one that like what is it he was like a lizard face and yeah. he worked for frieza Oh, good times. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for showing us these cards, and uh, good luck with your extra ones coming in the future. Yeah. See ya.